It's gorgeous. It's 25 degrees and muggy. <sighs> I'd like to sit out here, but I think, well, I don't really have time. It is, after all, Friday afternoon, and my husband's going to be back shortly. So uh, I think uh, my time is limited. I just got finished scanning another chapter, so I go back in and uh, clean that up and get that ready. Place it in my Quark Express file, and boom, the book is almost, almost scanned. Sun has come out. Ah, oh, this is great. I'm dressed too warmly, I can feel it. Uh, my husband has, well, he for a while he was off with his wacko friend. And now he's gone to get some corn and other things. Because it's August and it's time to eat corn. Or one dozen corn that we eat. I'm not as big a, a, a corn eater as I used to be. Just because I'm not as big an eater as I used to be, right? It's just too much. Yeah, uh, before that, my husband was off to have a coffee with his wacko friend. I, I never used to know so many wacko people. And then, you know, as life happens, you get to know all sorts of wacko people. You discover that your mother is wacko. And then uh, you discover that your husband's... A uh, friend is wacko, and then you work with someone who is wacko. There are a lot of wackos in this world. I don't need those wackos, really. I would have such a peaceful and tranquil and, and calm life if it weren't for all the wackos out there. What do you think? I think so. And don't tell me that life wouldn't be as interesting if it weren't for those people. Because I would be just as happy not to know them. And not to have to experience them. But that's life, right? Filled with wackos. I loved the light that was out here just before the sun came out was sort of that twilight green type of light and then I came out and it was sunny and what could I do? I could not give you the experience <laughs> I couldn't give you the experience alrighty I'm going to go back into work enough talking about wackos <laughs>